have you faced any challenges along your route as a triathlete? I think my biggest challenge was that's maybe now four years back when I hurt my knee and I just wanted to keep racing and it was like really swollen and it was like full of fluid but I was like oh it's all right and just get it like drained and got some cortisone shot and that destroyed my cartilage of the knee and it looked like I won't be able to get back to running at all so that was pretty stressful because I realized like I really want to still race and and run <laughs> that was tough because I couldn't run maybe for more than half a year uh, I stayed, stayed fit swim and kind of bike but that was yeah that was I think the toughest what I had I think in my career how about you yeah probably injuries as well at least most of my injuries have sort of been kind of predictable once I had them like you know if you have a stress fracture or something you kind of know that if you have 12 weeks off you're going to be okay but when I had the back injury earlier this year I just sometimes it would be better and then sometimes it'd be worse and then it'd be better and worse and worse again so it's kind of like so up and down before it came right and I'm probably quite lucky when this COVID kind of hit that I've been able to have a bit of time to let it heal properly so that's good now. That's the worst that's the most frustrating when you don't actually know what's wrong with it because yeah if yeah. you have a stress you just let it grow back but yeah. yeah exactly and you know kind of after 12 weeks with not much load on it it'll probably be fine but yeah. the kind of nervy injuries and stuff is a bit more unpredictable you got it right already for taupo didn't you i was pretty lucky to be able to um get i got about a month of running in before that race so it wasn't a lot but it was enough for me to be able to get a decent result you're like one of the luckiest one who really actually got two pretty good races in before the, all the lockdown came yeah i know yeah it was literally the week after i'm in new zealand and then it was all yeah. all over because you were looking yeah. to go to south africa or yeah south africa or texas and then uh if, if that wouldn't work out then maybe Cairns. and there was like so many possibilities we thought and now it's nothing yeah. it's, do you have any plans now i think still because this year was all about trying my first full Ironman yeah yeah and because New Zealand Ironman New Zealand didn't work out so then it looked like we're gonna focus on Cairns but it's hard to commit to something when it's still not 100% but I'm, I'm training and Brad just said I'll be ready in six weeks if if something comes so <laughs> just kind of maintaining at the moment and then hopefully when something yeah. gets put back on with a firm date you can start doing some specific yeah. training for it exactly how about you? I'm kind of hoping that we can come over to Aussie at some point. It kind of looks like the most likely option for us yep. in New Zealand. I think we can probably leave and go to Europe or something, but we probably can't come back. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that'll go. The best chance for us is probably in Australia in um, September if some of those races go ahead like Kent or Port Macquarie or something. We could go to Europe, but if we come back, you have to pay your own cost, uh, the two weeks quarantine in a hotel room. And yeah, if I would go same. to Europe, I'm definitely taking Ruby with me. But then yeah. I, I would not survive in a hotel room with her for two weeks. No way. Yeah. So it's not worth it. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't a triathlete? I think I would be some kind of swim instructor. When I studied, I wanted to actually be a midwife. I thought that would be pretty good. But then it was too hard to study and do triathlon. So... I'm just, just a teacher, sport teacher, but I knew I will never want to teach. <laughs> How about you? I guess I'd still be an engineer if I didn't start doing triathlons. If when you retire, you'll be an engineer? Uh, I guess so. It depends yeah. how soon until I retire, I guess. How old are you? 29. How Belinda would say, oh, you're a baby. <laughs> yeah.